It's been live in a while, and I decided to go ahead and go live for this reconstructive project that I'm working on. So um, one of my clients who comes in a lot of times for me to fix all kinds of things for him, do some like nifty things for him, came in with his wallet. And I took the wallet apart to reconstruct the wallet because it was in shambles. It was, it couldn't be repaired. So I took it all apart and then I made a template of it. Just have those in cardstock and then I labeled everything, put the sizes and everything that in case anybody wants me to like make it again or something like that, or if he wants me to make another one. It's a wallet that he really enjoyed having for many, 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 many years. He got refixed so many times that literally the sides were just falling apart. He couldn't hold it anymore. So I'm just gonna reconstruct this wallet for this gentleman. So I'll be referring back to the original <laughs> here and there as we go along. Just And then I also took pictures of it as it was. So so this is the back part right here is the, let me take all the layers off. This is the back portion of it. And then this is the inside portion of it. Um, he's okay with me using waterproof canvas for the entirety of the bag. So that's what I'm gonna do, just use waterproof canvas. It keeps from having to do a lot of extra layers that we don't need because it doesn't fray. It's, it's really good. So, and I'm gonna be using some Velcro, a couple of different all-purpose zippers. And then I got some cotton webbing um, to do the, the out the sides with. So that's all I have. <laughs> all right, so I get my things aside. I'm gonna work on that back zipper first. So this is the back. And I actually did all of the placements and everything also. So I mean, I, on my diagram, I put, I laid everything out as if it was the inside of the bag and then the outside of the bag. So I'm gonna work on the outside of the bag. This little hole placement um, also helps me line everything up with this because his wallet had a grommet as well. So that's gonna help me know what's the inside and the outside. So I'm gonna be working on the exterior and I'm gonna line all that up. I made a mark so I can see it. Yeah. Um, so what I'm gonna do today is reconstruct this. I don't get done during the live. I'll have to come back and do a second part. I do have private lessons today, but I got in here super early because it was daylight savings time. <laughs> All right, Velcro placement. So the exterior had the soft part. The soft part right here, Velcro placement. Most of the time I choose it for her, but she's 13 now, so she can make up her mind about what she likes and doesn't like. So, I'm gonna go ahead and make that first. So I wanna go ahead and I put that piece of Velcro right there. All right, so the next thing is the zipper flap. So, the good thing about marking everything is I know with where something is, so here we go. Exterior zipper. So that's the exterior zipper on there. It has a small little crease line. Because it's a rectangle, it really doesn't matter whether it's the top or the bottom. But what that's going to do is going to help me do the placement. So what I'm going to do, again, is I'm going to match up that dot right there. There we go. So you guys can see that little dot with my hole. I'm gonna place that right back on there. Take that down to three and a half. 
joining stitch length. So this machine has an automatic presser foot lift and it has a cutter as well, but it doesn't not, it does not like the bonded nylon or any type of nylon thread with the cutter. It shreds it really bad. So to save me the trouble of having to um, constantly rethread my machine, I just manually cut it. All right, so now I fold that there. There's the, well, this is gonna be the zipper placement up here. So I'm gonna take my zipper Okay, and this one here, I'm actually doing it as a separating zipper. You don't have to have a separating zipper. I just chose this one because I wanted to be able to kind of like move my zipper all the way up the way and put everything in, in properly. So right here, I'm going to, I'm going to actually get some double-sided tape. So... So far, it's just a lot of reminders. I got a big week coming up, so. Okay, I'm gonna place it on here. I just wanna be able to um, garment there we go and then right here I'm going to um, go ahead and sew this down so you could have another piece here it didn't look like he had another piece there yeah it was just so the original one was just sewn directly on to the fabric so that's what I'm gonna do I'm not trying to change it up too much. Even though I think it would look really cute with like an accent piece right there. Never know, I might make these wallets for Christmas or something for some people. And it had like a lifetime warranty on it. <laughs> and he got it fixed multiple, multiple times. So many more times than, um, that I've done. I fixed it like twice already for him and then I was like, I can't fix it anymore. It's just literally falling apart. So right here is I'm opening up the zipper and I'm holding this down. So I'm gonna actually just do a little stay stitch right there. And I have a thread zapper, but I think it needs a new fuse. Or batteries, not sure. I love the thing, I just haven't had time to do it. Okay, there we go. We'll just go with it. Okay, so we've done that, we've done this. I literally just ran out of problem right there. All right, so zipper, there, placement. The Velcro's there. Okay, so everything's good on that side. Now let's flip it to this side. I had the hole on this side, so like it's not just throwing it any which way. It's on that side. Okay. It was like the Velcro doesn't go anywhere on the same side. So my Velcro is going to go over here. So I'm going to go ahead and touch the tacky part of the Velcro there. just a little bit so that when I do the binding it doesn't I am sure you can do this wallet on a domestic machine with a waterproof canvas because waterproof canvas is 
kind of thin, but it's durable that you don't have to have extra, extra layers of it. So this is going to be a very pliable material, so, but it's thick, so you don't have to interface it. Okay. So I did that. Now this is the divider piece here. So I have to look for the divider. So I've already used this one. I'm going to put it aside right over there. Where's the divider of the wallet? So what I'm looking, you see this right here? This is what I'm looking to replace right here. So this piece right here, this, this piece here went into the wallet and it had this little piece of binding on it just so that it could stay on and he can put things in it without it falling out. So that's what I'm doing right now. Um, so now I'm going to Put this back piece and this back piece aside. And we'll come back to that. So the next piece we're going to be working on is this piece here. So this piece here is like it went into the center of the wallet and it had this little divider piece right here. And this is the back of that piece. here that we're going to add a card slot to. Okay, so to the very back flat piece, we are going to add that. So this is the dividers. Divider. So this is right here. So this is going to have a zipper attached to it. And then another flappy piece to it. So, okay. So we're gonna work with this next. Put that there. All right. So on here, I actually put where the zipper placement goes. So I know that this is gonna go like this. This zipper is gonna attach to this one, just like we did with the other one. So this is gonna attach right along here. sizes for this smaller and as long as it's larger so that's the biggest thing with zippers you can always cut them down as long as they're a nylon zipper but you can't do that with um you can't do that with smaller zippers unless you're going to do zipper tabs which this did not have so i'm just going to go ahead and open this up this place it on there so that it's Sides are matching. There we go. So that part's done. Now this is the card stop backing. So I'm gonna take this part here that makes it into a zipper pocket pretty much. I'm gonna take that and push it away just for right now. And then on top of here is where I'm gonna build my card slots. So the way these card slots worked is that they're actually staggered. So it's the same size, they're just staggered. So I have to put the, the back one on first and then the one on top of it. They're just staggered. So some people do accordion style card slots, but I'm not doing that because it's not what his wallet had originally. I'm gonna go like this, line that up, right up against that zipper. So right where I had stitched before is around lining the top of this card slot up and I'm gonna rotate it. And I'm gonna go ahead. So that's 
one card slot there. So I'm gonna do another card slot, lining it up to the bottom at this time, like this, so that the cards can get in there. There we go. So now that is ready for me to go ahead and divide that in half. So all I'm gonna do is gonna fold it in half, make a really good crease, and I like to use these creasing like bone things that you get for paper. Creasing like if you're doing card making or anything. Really push in on that. I'll put to the side too, just in case I need to have a set on that. And that's my center mark right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and sew down that center mark. down here it'll help and I'm trying to control the stitch length it doesn't but there we go so now this opens up that's gonna be a zipper pocket you got two card slots right there. Okay, we did that. So this one is done. Now we get to do the next one, which is this bad boy. Okay. divider pieces the divider pieces are just like um, the card slots where it's being um, staggered and that's what this line here is for that I made I'm gonna actually fold at that line and make myself a little mark so line that up right there I'm gonna get myself a caddy right here because I'm right-handed so I want to always here but everything's to my left because that's where my cutting table um, prep table is so yeah I need to switch things around a little bit So this piece here, because it's a little longer, I'm going to actually fold it in and do a top stitch. other card slot that we um, talked him into getting some more card slots. So I'm going to do the same thing I did with the other card slot. I'm going to stagger this one a little taller.
our divider, another divider, and then four more card slots right in there. So that's pretty neat. So we added some extra card slots where there wasn't any before. Um, so I think he's really gonna enjoy that. Um, So that's gonna be like a flappy piece that goes into the center. All right, so that's that. All right, so on this side over here is where the little divider thing went here. So this divider went like this. is done so now that that flap is done I'm gonna get my big piece here I'm gonna cut off my excess zipper tape So there we have it. This is the exterior where the zipper is. Right, that's a pocket. And then this is the interior. So where the interior is, interior, interior, all right. That's where this piece is going. So I just wanted to kind of know where that was going. Tack that down. This is why when I make my pattern pieces, I'm very descriptive about where things go for placement because I don't want to be confused later on when I'm constructing. That's not a good thing. So apparently the company who was doing this particular wallet is no longer in business. That's why he couldn't buy it from them. So I'll have to reconstruct it for him. There we go. And that's what's gonna happen there. That's gonna be like, I'm gonna, gonna clip that there so you can kind of see that's what's gonna happen here. This is gonna flap open. So that's gonna go, okay. 
So what we have now, now we're going to add this piece like this. So that this goes like that. I'm gonna probably finish that just so that it looks really, it looks nice. I'm just gonna do that finished edge. the roll so I'm just going to go as I can on a little bit of I'm going to take it and I'm going to fold in just a little bit that over there fold it a couple stitches to kind of hold on to it and then I'm just going to move this and go around it as I go When you get to here, stop, reposition it, tuck it up underneath. You can have a little bit of a flap there. That's okay. This part here is going to be what's going to go into the center of the wallet. I'm actually flapping it over a little bit to give me a little bit more room so that if I stitch right across the other side, it helps. Now this floppy piece is going to go in here, just like that, making sure he stays out, he can get flopped around wherever he needs to. Okay, so now that goes, floppy flop, next piece, this one here. It's going to go right there, okay, and then this gets attached down, okay. So this here is going to get sewn on right there. I'm going to move it up just a tiny bit so that I can catch it with the previous stitching on the other side. I can kind of see where I stitched before. That in place. Let me get that zipper head out of the way. Take a little piece of binding and just sew it down so it makes it look nice. Just like that. And really, that could be another compartment right there if I wanted to make it that way, but that's not how his was, so because this will still be a zipper pocket here. So when this gets sewn down, this will, this will still be a zipper pocket, and this could be another compartment. Um, and that's not how his was, so. Even though us ladies love our compartments, I'm not gonna do it. All right, so we're just gonna sew it down.
Reconstructed wallet from the original. Zipper pockets, compartments, every which way you go. I love it. I think he's gonna love it. I think he's gonna be happy and be like, yep, it's a go. Let's make another one. Um, and then back here, the exterior zipper pocket. I mean, I think just a little bit wider and this would probably be perfect for a phone. Let me see. Cause you know us women, we like to have our phones with us. Oh, actually look at that. That's pretty cool. So, um, you know, that fits a, an Android. I'm not sure about those new iPhones that are big as houses, but look at that. The back pocket here has my cell phone in it and it's like a Velcro piece, so it's really durable. Opens up, card slots, all kinds of card slots, and another slot right there. Mm -hmm. it's pretty neat. Hey! I'll be right there, I'll be finishing it with my live. Alright, guys, that's it. We reconstructed a wallet. Okay. Don't forget to like, subscribe, follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Garner Sewing. Bye!